Yes. I have some chemicals that are capable, just like this one. This is the whitening base cream. Iso Shapra Pra. When you use, when you are using the bleaching agent, it's not difficult for me. Once you enter my consultation room, uh, it's not difficult for me to recognize. No. Sometimes you can see it here. It's already mixed. It's a strong bleaching cream. You used to mix it and to give you a natural body look. Um, it's not difficult for me to recognize, to know that you're, you know, using the bleaching agent because um, of this rotten, this this terrible, uh, pungent odor of rotten fish. The patient, I mean, the person using it himself or herself may not necessarily be aware she or he is smelling terribly bad. The issue of skin bleaching is a very silent but loud one. A team of student journalists from Enugu State University of Science and Technology have come together to explore this topic for informational and educational purposes. skin is the largest organ of the body containing a group of related molecules called melanin. Skin bleaching, whitening or lightening is the practice of using chemical substances in an attempt to lighten the skin color by reducing the melanin concentration in the skin. Examples of these chemical substances are hydroquinone, glycolic acid, retinoid, azelaic acid, kojic acid, and the metallic substance called mercury, which is historically called the liquid metal. Dark-skinned individuals are said to produce more melanin than their light-skinned counterparts, as well as those racially classified as whites. Melanin, however, reduces the risk of skin diseases as it blocks the UV radiation from the sun, which damages the DNA. This damage will cause skin cancer. In the urban area of Enugu State is one of the largest markets in the state. People come from a far distance to buy or sell here. The journalists are somewhere in this crowd. of Obetame market to find out the reason why people use these bleaching products and the rate at which these products are used. They scout the market in search of dealers in cosmetics and of course whitening of bleaching products and chemicals. At last, they walk into the shop of a young man who identifies himself as Zugam. Maintaining good rapport with his customers, he is also engrossed in his business. The typical Igbo businessman. He's been in this for years. He knows the smell of every bleaching chemical in his shop. Finally, he settles for a chit chat. With some humor. Can we meet you, sir? <laughs> I'd like to know your name. My name is Sugar Okay, so do they buy the bleaching and the body lighting creams more than the normal creams? Uh, they prefer they prefer buying mixing due to what due to the ingredients such as all these Egyptian make lightning ingredients all these essential oils so people prefer mixing cream than buying already made cream 
Zugam is about to mix some lightning creams as demanded by one of his customers. He mixes raw chemicals with already made creams. This is what his buyer wants. In two minutes, he is done and is ready to attend to the next customer. The dark spots on his head and uneven nail colors are evidences of long-term and continuous contact with these chemical substances. The nails can also be affected, you know. The nails, you know, the ne nails, what we call half and half nail, the color of the nail changes automatically. If you use bleaching cream over a long time, there's this color, uh, different colors it gives to you. To your nail, the nail plates. What you are looking at, that's your nail. Is the, the nail, nail plates. plates. So the color can change. Oh, and yes. There are many colors that you can have, but most of them will have variegated discoloration. Maybe two colors. Okay. Mm. Brown. They become a deep brown, or even a little. There are so many colors. As long as he earns his money, Zugam is not bothered about such downsides in his business. He speaks good of it. Anytime. Using an organic product is still the best. The demand for bleaching cream is it higher than any other cream? All those. Yes, it's, it's, it's higher than any other one. Because if these if these people what they want immediately, it's more expensive due to the high uh, ingredients used. In On a lighter note, he takes his personal selling skills to another level. Nowadays, all the guests want to get lights. And getting lights, you are, you, are, you, are, you are by removing your skin melanin and pumping out a new skin cells on your, on your body. It's very, very good and important. Sometimes you do miss a very nutritious cream that lays a multi-layer cell layer on the skin. It's very good. Chineye and Kirsten employ subtle approach to engage these women who are here to buy lightning creams. She reveals her cream and Chinaya tries to find out the price. So, I have a very nice skin. So, what cream do you use? Does it lighten the skin or does it just act like a random Man, we're going to get you, make a mutual. It lightens the skin. It lightens the skin. May I eat you too. Okay, so for how long have you been using this cream? More than three years now. And it's, it's really good on you? Yes. It's going to turn my color. Can see my color is shiny. Yes. At this point, Kirsten decides to throw a straight and maybe unexpected question. Okay, why do you choose to use a lightning cream. Can't you just use a normal, normal cream? <laughs> because of my color. Okay. So that's why I'm using it. Okay. You tell my color. A dermatologist is a doctor who specializes in medical conditions involving the skin, hair, and nails. The pressmen are here to speak with one. Dr. Unaji Thomas is a consultant dermatologist with Enugu State University Teaching Hospital as well as a lecturer in the university. It's, it's something that is uh, like an epidemic, it's quite common in our environment and in this place, yes. We see almost every clinic day, you know, you see at least one case of uh, uh, diseases associated with the use of uh, uh, skin lightening agents. Various inscriptions like tuning, 
light. It's not all light that bleaches, but uh, most of the so-called light, so-so light. You know, of course, by name, by extension, you know that definitely they alter the skin color. We know that ingredients, carrots, steroids, are constituents of some of those agents that bleaches, as the lake acid, hydroquinone, but most often they are not, they are hidden. Uh, most of the companies don't write those things that bleaches because it's like a mafia business. Many of them will not try it. But when you use, you discover that definitely your skin is color is being altered. So that's why how we know. Once you use anything and you discover that your skin is being toned, or you're getting lighter in color, um, run away from such uh, application. Not, we don't encourage the use at all. Various organs can be damaged by the use of bleaching cream. On the skin, you can have minor changes, mild mild changes, you know, such as uh, discoloration, maybe dark discoloration. You know, there could be some areas that your hands don't reach easily. You know that those places become darker than the other side. And even where you apply the cream over time, they uh, get darker, they get dark. So called uh, exogenous onchronosis. So we see a lot of that. Skin atrophy. When you talk about atrophy, that's a medical term, terminology or medical jargon. Atrophy simply means the reduction in the size of an organ. And on the skin, instead of the normal thickness of the skin, uh, some, due to the aging they contain, for instance, if they contain steroid, you may discover that the skin is thinned. The skin fullness will not be there, and that can that skin is not healthy and can easily be damaged. We also see a lot of uh, sun-associated injury. You know, this is a tropical environment where you have uh, a lot of sunlight. So, if you damage, if you use a lot of these creams, you can have various color changes because of effects, um, you know, of the sun. There are so many other changes, stretch marks. Some of their vessels, uh, blood vessels, could be very prominent. Some come to us because of prominent vessels, blood vessels, because when the skin is not thick enough again, uh, when it's thinned down, the underlying blood vessels become prominent. Okay? Uh, Talangectasias, you know, as those are medical words we use for that kind of, uh, of condition. Um, outside the skin, you have a lot of other effects, you know. Uh, I've mentioned only but few of the effects on the skin. I've not mentioned all. I won't, I won't be able to stand here and mention all, or sit here and mention all. Because if I want to go further, I'll be telling you about skin cancers, which need to be mentioned after all. It's good to mention skin cancers, you know. Um, it's been reported, you know, the case report of skin cancer developing in people because they simply use bleaching agents. Here's what the average person thinks about skin lightening. We have to encourage young people to maintain their color because there is a lot of damages to skin bleaching in the future. What are people in Igbo called Igbo fan top or cook? You know, you discover that the the face may be may look nice like Fanta, uh, but then if you look at the legs or some other places, you know, that as dark as Coke, Coca Cola, or Coke. Um, outside the skin, you have other organs, uh, but no, the most notorious are the you know among the organ effect is that of the kidney. Uh, kidney damage can. We see people coming with kidney damage, somehow associated with uh, use of uh, skin lightening agents. And some contain mercury. And mercury, you know, some cream, some soap contain mercury. And we know that mercury is uh, exactly bad to the kidney. It can cause chronic kidney failure. We know that uh, chronic kidney disease is on increase currently. And I suspect that part of the reason why it's increasing now is because of uh, people want to get fairer, people want to be fair, people, nobody wants to accept uh, the normal dark color. 
Uh, so I guess, I suppose, that may contribute to the increasing incidence you know, of uh, chronic kidney diseases. So we see people with severe psychological uh, you know, trauma. Even, even people are the verge of committing suicide simply because what they have bargained for is coming, it's not haunting them. They bargain for, you know, you know, they want to, you know, uh, bleach their skin, they want to alter their skin color. But over time, it becomes terrible that they may even commit suicide. That's the psychological aspect of the use of bleaching cream. Even when you use cream that you may think are okay, it's, uh, I think it's good to consult dermatology, a dermatologist. A dermatologist will be able to tell you, use this, use that. There are definitely natural remedies, you know. Natural remedies, natural creams, eat well. Eat well. Because some claim that you have a lot of vitamin E, a lot of vitamin C from some of these agents. Yes, they are not bad to contain. It's not bad that they contain those agents. But you can also get your natural agent from what you eat if you eat the right food. But simple as petrol. If you don't know what to use, use petroleum jelly. Because that is definitely okay. Once you notice anything on your skin, see a dermatologist. Ladies are sometimes comfortable discussing their ordeals at the beauty salon. Here's what Irene has to say. The assertion that men spoil women to bleach in order to get their attention is very common. To take a stand in this argument, the team embarks on an investigation. <laughs> Ernest and Zidi live together as students. They are 300 level students of ESU. <laughs> As a student, Ernest earns money for mixing lightning chemicals and creams. Don't look at the container and stuff. It's just something I need out of my production process. Like, I just took a little bit out of my production. So I don't really need the packaging. Okay, so this is like... Um, like it's called the lightning cream. Okay. Lightning cream. Yeah. Okay, do you kind of consciously choose to be fairer? Um, not really. It just helps remove my pimples. It just helps it. And also make my body a little bit better. Like it's perfect. It's perfect. According to Ernest, the revival of her skin was possible with lightning creams she produces herself. This gave her the confidence to establish her own brand. Wow, I can't believe the transformation. Quite meticulous in her dealings with these chemicals. No, aluminum is very bad. If you use I like even this day, you don't sell it in the market anymore. I don't know who makes it fair. We don't have support in our body, like not like that. So I think she's strong. So I hope no one's bad. Like if you go to the market and you ask for aluminum, I'll be like, don't use it. They'll probably give you cotton. Or maybe yeah, cotton or maybe um as covid as it all probably give you citrus. In no time, she gets comfortable with the presence of the journalists. Of course, they are all students. In a friendly discussion with Udochuku, she speaks of her weekly Friday night outing. It's Friday. The curious journalists have decided to hang around.
I have a date tonight. Alright, let's go. Tonight, we examine the assertion that men, by act of selective attention, spoil women to bleach their skin. Finally, a young man walks up to them. We can't really call him an admirer. As Facebook will put it, he is a mutual friend to both girls. He spends more of the little time talking to Ernest. What does this suggest? A good example of what you may simply call covert video coverage reveals this to us. To avoid concluding on mere assumptions, the journalists tried to find out if the young man's decision to approach her had anything to do with her skin color. Yeah, you prefer fair girls to dark skin girls? Yes, of course. Okay. Here is an outburst of emotions. I go with fair skin girls, like, they are like, they are, they are sweet to be with you. Okay, okay. They glue, they glue among the darks, you understand? They are, they are special. They glitters. They, like, they glitter. They and they are special. Like the song, they are special. And they are special. <laughs> A recent study of the origin of modern homo sapiens or humans show that humans most likely developed in the Horn of Africa between 300,000 and 200,000 years ago. The recent African origin model proposes that all non-African populations are substantially descended from populations of homo sapiens that left Africa after that time. The melanocyte concentrated skin, also known as the dark skin, which was the only skin color at the time humans existed only in Africa, served as a natural sunscreen to protect the skin from the excessive UV rays peculiar to the areas located around the equator. It is assumed by this theory that man migrated from Africa away from the equator where they met lesser sunlight and UV rays leading to the drop in the amount of melanocytes produced by the skin over decades and generations. The result is a gradual evolution which involves physical and biological changes, one of which is the drop in the production of melanocytes which in turn makes the skin pale. The pale or white color became the new survival mechanism to help maintain the good absorption of vitamin D into the skin, despite the low amount of sunlight. I, don't, I doubt there is any advantage to the skin yeah, They arrive at three concluding points. Firstly, the skin color of a human being is more of a feature for survival rather than a yardstick for measuring the beauty of that person. The after effect is bad, but in a short period of time, you look older than your age. Like, you know, be attracting again, in as much as you want to get attention, you, be, you, be, you look scary. The beauty of a woman's skin lies in the health and condition of the skin other than the color of the skin. Skin bleaching is only an attempt to lighten the skin, meaning that it is not a lasting approach. According to the World Health Organization, 77% of women in Nigeria use skin lightening products. It is ranked the world's highest percentage.
no matter the color, an unhealthy skin is not perceived as beautiful or attractive.